That escape game was super fun to be a part of. Just running around there trying to solve the riddles and that was so amazing. I've actually never been to an escape room before. Black cat over the road. So many beautiful spots here. This is the part of my vlog where I talk to you guys about something that can inspire you or maybe help you with creativity. Like now, I'm walking around in the streets of Valencia. I'm not using GPS. I'm kind of thinking, like I walked for half an hour from the hotel to where I was working. And now I've been walking in the wrong directions. But you know what? I don't get stressed. I think it's cool because then it will take me some places I've actually never seen before. Uh, and in that way, I can even get more inspiration. Music, that's a really good inspiration. You can sit, listen to music, then you're gonna feel things. Uh, another thing is you see an animal. And just like that, the guy we're bicycling, you saw the animals flew away. Maybe that can inspire you to create something. Maybe you start to think about the escape of the birds, what were in the minds. And the ideas can carry on. Like humans, I get inspired all the time by other people. Like either it's their stories, the way they dress, especially the way they act. Uh, so for me, the Unsuspecting Random People project I created on Snapchat, that was like only inspired by people and a creative mind. It's a little bit dark now. Tomorrow I'll probably go and explore and find out where all these things are. Never been to Valencia. I don't normally use a map or anything. I just explore. And that's the beauty of it, getting lost in a city. But stay safe. So, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was so tired. I overslept big time today. It's probably the jet lag and all the traveling working. So I'm off to the airport and I'm going home. Checkout time was 12 p.m. Yes. Yeah, I overslept, so. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. <laughs> you look beautiful. Congratulations. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> We're just waiting for the cab. So many people ask me about these glasses and my hat, why I always wear a hat, why I always wear glasses. At the beginning when I started with Snapchat, I didn't show myself at all. But over time, I started to show small parts of me. Okay, that sounds creepy. <laughs> small parts. When I started Snapchat, my Snapchat account, Geosnap, I didn't show myself at all. And I didn't expect it to go viral. Um, but over time, um, I started to produce stories and then I had to show myself working for brands. Uh, like I was on Good Morning in Norway and in newspapers. They had to have a face on me. So I thought to myself, hmm, I don't want to show myself. So I put on the glasses, put on this hat and uh, it's sort of a disguise for me now. Uh, it, it kind of stuck with me. And so many fans and followers ask me every day, like why I wear these glasses and uh, 
or with a hat on my head? The answer is quite easy. In the beginning, when I was Snapchatting, I come from a really small town. It's like 8,000 people living there. I used to take like random shots of uh, unsuspecting people and make doodles on them. Uh, that would be much more harder if everybody knew how, who I was. So every time I put on my glasses and my hat, people recognize me as GeoSnap in my hometown when I'm out traveling. But the beauty here is if I take off these glasses and take off this hat, no one recognizes me at all. Sometimes I say to people, I see things, and people like look at me like, really, are you crazy? <laughs> but I, it's not, uh, I don't see things, I imagine a lot of things. And for me, uh, I think that's actually a good thing, because when we grew up, we lose a lot of that imagination, a lot of that creativity. Uh, so if you start to practice about creative ideas and trying to see things or imagine things, I think actually you will get a better life quality out of it because it's fun. That's first off. And if you sometimes are like alone, like when I do all this traveling, I'll have to wait at all these places. I'm, I never have a bored moment at all. So yeah, I think it can be a, like, you can actually get better life quality out of it. It's been an amazing journey, Los Angeles, Valencia, it's been like 50 hours of flights um, and waiting in airports, but on my journey met so many amazing people, did the amazing cool creative project, had so much fun. Now I'm traveling home with my flight to Christian Sun. I'll be back. Subscribe, comment, do whatever you like. If you want me to do, get more into the inspiring, to the creative stuff, tell me. See you around. Thank you.